time. You can never have enough. As it passes, so do opportunities. Every second counts. And everything can change. Tonight, the road to my damnation begins. On this one night, 30 superstars will fight to stand on a grander stage where champions are made and legacies are defined. For these men, time is everything. It's all they have to grasp this chance. Destiny awaits for only one, and it all begins when this clock hits zero. And now, Ring of Clothing and Ringside Collectibles presents the MDT Royal Rumble. What is good everyone? Welcome live to the MDT Royal Rumble, the first ever in our history of our company. We are live from New York, Madison Square Garden for tonight's historical event. The road to my damn nation starts tonight and I have my partner Brad with me on tonight's commentary as we are going to call all of our action as we approach my damn nation tonight. Brad, how do you feel? I'm so excited, the day is finally here. Let's go! The crowd is electric. The building is packed to the rafters, and we are ready to go. But before we get into the action tonight, Brad, we got to run through some of these matches. Starting first up, we have the Iron Man Championship, which is later declared as a chairs match for tonight's action between Cody Rhodes and Rusev. Of course, Aiden English in the corner of Rusev should be an exciting culmination to that feud. We also have Shelton Benjamin taking on the Masked Man for the United States Championship. The Masked Man has been just running rampant with partner Zack Ryder and MVP taking down Shelton Benjamin every chance he gets, attacking him with chairs and everything from behind. And then of course we have one of our main events tonight, the triple threat match for the MDT Championship between the current champion John Cena taking on the Bloodline in Roman Reigns and the Vigilante CM Punk. That one should be absolutely fantastic as all three Titans clash here tonight at the MDT Royal Rumble. But what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen, the main event tonight, the 30-man Royal Rumble match, 15 confirmed entrants, including the elite champion Kenny Omega with his Bullet Club brothers, should be exciting. We're going to make history tonight. Who will be the first ever winner here at the MDT Royal Rumble? Well, Brad, it looks like the participants of the Royal Rumble are going to start choosing their numbers. But we're starting things off hot with the Extreme Championship Fatal 4-Way Death Match. Oh my God, he's got the killer death machine. Yes, sir. Knocking out multiple opponents. Coming into the night's matchup, he's never won the Extreme Championship, Brad, but No Way Jose has a ton of momentum coming into this. He's the most extreme man here. I agree with that. He's been a complete savage, taking out every participant in this matchup, so it's going to be exciting to see if he can dance himself away to an Extreme Championship win here tonight at the Royal Rumble. Well, you know, Brad, Bobby Lashley is actually a one-time extreme champion coming into this matchup. He has to be somewhat of a favorite at the size of the competitor that Bobby Lashley is. Look at Jose. He's not afraid. He's smiling in the face of death. Bobby Lashley is absolutely massive. 
But I, I would agree. I think the savagery of Jose definitely has things on his side here tonight, especially in a death match, Brett. Anything can happen and anything will happen. John Morrison, Brad, also a one-time extreme champion coming into this matchup. So him and Bobby Lashley definitely have something that Jose doesn't, and that is a championship reign here. All of these men have been attacking each other ruthlessly behind the back, around the back, jumping them from behind. I mean, it's absolutely been ridiculous running around MDT Live, but all four of these men hopefully are going to settle their differences when they collide in this death match to start off this epic Royal Rumble show. It's exciting, but I'm ready to see Johnny live. champion after finding an unconscious John Morrison in the back, pinning him and becoming the extreme champion in his first night on MDT Live. Debuting as champion, how much better does it get? Debuting as champion, he debuted on the show and won the championship and he's debuting here on pay-per-view in front of all these people in this epic death match. I cannot wait to see how this thing goes. And we're going, Brad, the, the bell has rang and we are off. On oh, Jose, Jose from behind. And he cracks him over the skull with that deadly radio. My God, he's been doing that for weeks on end. And Kevin Owens, up to, oh, the Bobby Lashley from behind. That's, that's something that you're going to have to take notice of, Brad. In this matchup, men are going to be attacking from behind, left and right. There's four men, and there's tons of weaponry scattered around the arena. There's no way Jose slips out here. Oh, big drop kick straight into the ladder. Sends Lashley's crashing to the mat. It looks like Kevin Owens already fishing around here. We got our first taste of setting things up, and he's he's going for a one of those. A big pane of glass. A big pane of glass. Oh my Ooh. God! John Morrison striking Kevin Owens in the face, and he it looks like he's going to try and suplex him oh through that God. glass pane. Kevin Owens though is too big for Morrison. Here's he flips him over, <laughs> and he comes crashing down through the glass pane on the outside. The strength of Kevin Owens, too much for John Morrison. Oh, no way, Jose! Through, oh the God. through the glass pane in the corner. I know that Bobby Lashley and John Morrison's back are absolutely torn apart. Oh, my God! A shot to the face by Kevin Owens. The madness begins in this death match Look already. Look Morrison's back. Look out! God almighty! The, it's just a car crash continuously going about here as John Morrison takes a chair to the face now. Kevin Owens trying to attack Lashley as he drops the chair and no way Jose getting the hell out of there. There's three men busted open already in this matchup, Brad. We're literally just getting started. Little giant shards of glass. In the back of Lashley, in the face of Jose. I mean, the everyone is donning the crimson mask early in this matchup. Bobby Lashley lifting Kevin Owens to the top rope here. Oh, but Kevin Owens fighting back with a nice headbutt off the champion to Bobby Trashley. And no way Jose out in front of us. Brad, we better be careful. That glass pane explodes. We may get I'm going to fight somebody if I get hit with a piece of glass. We're going to have to see about that, Brad. As Kevin Owens is climbing up to the top, but he doesn't see John Morrison coming across. Oh, my, oh my God, he's coming down. <laughs> oh, my God. There is glass everywhere, Brad. I got to dust myself off here. My brand new suit jacket for the Royal Rumble. All nice getting cut up with this glass. I mean, my God, what a fall. I will whip somebody's ass. Kevin Owens is absolutely destroyed. The champion is incapacitated. And here comes Bobby Trashley as he throws John Morrison's face square into the turnbuckle as John Morrison falls way down. That bloody back bouncing off that ladder. Absolutely is. Oh, my God, a strike to the face from No Way Jose as he hits a Samoan drop. We're going to have a new champion right now. And Bobby Lashley stays alive, and No Way Jose not going to become champion off of that. Just all these men beating the absolute hell out of each other. 
at the MDT Royal Rumble. What a way to open the show. It's John oh. Morrison. John Morrison from behind with that trash can. And no way Jose getting the hell out of there. Brady doesn't want anything to do with it. And Trashley from behind now on Morrison. This matchup is ridiculous, Brad. Absolutely. Oh, and he, Bobby Trashley throwing Morrison beyond the brick wall Over there. The wall. And I, I literally have zero clue where John Morrison is now. But for that matter, Jose and Bobby Lashley are going to lock up now on the middle of the stage here as they are going battle up on the top. And what the hell is John Morrison doing? There oh he is, Brad. He's on top of the taxi. He's on top of the taxi on the stage. Oh, he's no coming way. down. A moonsault off the top. Taking, Jesus. taking out Jose and oh, Trashley. Yeah. Ridiculous. The amazing athleticism of John. How do you get up there? I, I, he, he did the disappearing act. And he appeared on the taxi. Oh, oh, my God. A brick. A brick to the skull of Morrison. Kevin Owens is going to retain. He's got to be out. Oh, and Trashley. Oh. Trashley breaks up the pinfall. And, oh, he's got more plays for Kevin Owens. Oh. And he dumps him over the buggy. Kevin going shopping. Kevin going shopping indeed. And Bobby Trashley keeping an eye out as no way Jose's going to retreat backstage. And it looks like Bobby Trashley's giving chase. WCW backstage brawl. Backstage assault, you mean, Brad. As Bobby Lashley does not know where No Way Jose is, or we're all looking for him here. It's, oh my goodness. Oh God, look at that face. Up to the savage ways of Jose. Here's a text, Bobby Lashley from behind. Oh my goodness, and Morrison out of nowhere over that chair. Oh, and he's got his focus on Lashley now. Oh my goodness. A shot to the skull. Sickening. A sickening blow indeed, Brad. Trashley taking it right on the face. And KO from behind now, recovering. Arm cut open now. His arms are profusely bleeding after crashing through that glass pane, Brad. And now Kevin Owens has some more ideas. He's got a ladder bridge. He's set up a ladder bridge and he's got his sights set on John Morrison here as he's loading him up. He may be thinking pop-up powerbomb here. Oh, he's loading Morrison up. Oh, and he comes down hard on the back. You know, his back's already cut open, Brad. I mean, this man is bleeding. There's going to be blood all over this arena here tonight if we keep going like this. All these men have beaten the hell out of each other. Oh, and what is Kevin Owens thinking now is it looks like he may be taking a crime, Brad. Oh, my God. He's Careful on, now. He's on top of that scaffolding. That is not stable. That is not stable. I think he may be coming down on John Morrison with a... Five star oh front from KO! And he crashes through! Through the ladder! The big man coming down on Morrison. Here's the cover for, to retain! And Jose oh. breaks up the fall! No way! No way, Jose! He says no way, Brad, as he breaks it up. And oh my god, he's loading him up. Kevin Owens slipping out here. Oh, and he takes a shot to the skull. Kevin Owens. Could be busted open now. It's, Jose's going to retreat again. Oh my goodness, Brad. What are, what are we witnessing here in the opening matchup of this Royal Rumble pay-per-view? It's a car crash. That's literally what it is. It is absolutely a car crash. As Morrison and Kevin Owens are laid to waste here in the backstage area. As Bobby Lashley and No Way Jose are retreating to the parking lot. And oh my lord, what oh, is Jose out. doing? He's on, top of the, he's on top of that dump truck. And lastly, not seeing Jose, they finally spotted him. Oh, he's coming down on oh, the, the strength of Lashley. Oh, and he bounces his spinal cord off that truck. Oh, and he throws it through the windshield of the Camaro in the parking lot. Oh, Jose completely di discombobulated as he goes through the windshield of the Camaro now. And Morrison... Wait, what, where the hell Morrison come from? He comes out of nowhere, Brad. He's on top of the dump truck. And Lashley trying to figure out exactly what he's going to do. And oh, there's Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens bringing Morrison down here. Oh, and I think he's got plans for Morrison's face as he's just bouncing it off of that metal of the dump truck in the back. My God. And now Trashley's going to join into the dump truck. 
Kevin Owens fighting with one on one with Trashley. It would suit better if it was a trash, a trash truck for Bobby Trashley. Oh, and he's assaulting Bobby Lashley in the face here. Oh my God, what is what is Kevin Owens thinking? He's gonna. Oh my God. He's loading him up for the power bomb. It's, what is he doing? He's gonna no! throw him off. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Bobby Lashley falls at least 12 feet. That's right. got to that's gotta be 10 or 12 feet high, Brad. What in the hell? Kevin Owens just taking everyone out of this bag. What is he planning now with John Morrison? No way. Oh, my oh God! My oh, my God! Kevin Owens with the package pile driver. That's it. That's all, it's, everyone's dead. Under the hood of the car, he's going for the cover here. And it's over. Mercifully, the matchup is over as Kevin Owens retains his MDT Extreme Championship. What in the hell did we just witness? Kevin Evan Owens retains the Extreme Championship as every man in this matchup was bleeding their blood all over this arena. Look at the carnage that we have experienced. And this is just the opener of the MDT Royal Rumble. Congratulations to Kevin Owens. If it did cost him some years off his life, but he has retained his MDT Extreme Championship. What is good everybody it is Trey from my damn toys here telling you guys to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you never miss an MDT wrestling upload also hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying the show thus far we got an action-packed night for you guys and you do not want to miss any future shows so go ahead and subscribe
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the MDT Royal Rumble. After that absolute car crash of a match that we had to open our show, we turn our focus now to the United States Championship match between Shelton Benjamin and the Masked Man. Good luck topping that. Oh, Brady's not even coming out to music. But the Masked Man just getting rained upon with booze and for good for good measure and it, it's deserved brad he's been attacking show hey, it's refreshing no entrance music no flash no sketchy gear this man's here to fight i actually i i've been talking to a few fans and they actually respect the masked man and they like his you know his his mysterious quality about him it'll be interesting to see if, if that continues here tonight <laughs> Right, it kind of sucks to be Shelton Benjamin tonight. The MDT United States Champion, yes, but at what cost? Is it going to go? Oh, it's going to go! He's, he's coming right at the masked man, Brad. I mean, it's it's well-deserved. The masked man has been attacking him with a chair. Given the tape ribs of Shelton Benjamin, you can see it right now. Underneath the championship title, you can see the ribs are wrapped. Um, he has been destroyed with a chair on multiple occasions on many episodes of MDT Live between Zack Ryder, MVP, and the Masked Man. United States Championship on the line. Let's go between Shelton and the Masked Man. You know, Brad, what, what if a game plan of Shelton, quick takedown there, what if he were to just go straight for the mask? What if he just tried to take his mask off? That is a good point. Shelton Benjamin trying to wrestle here with the Masked Man. Given, I'm sure, uh, Shelton Benjamin's got to be the better wrestler between the two. We don't know that. This could be some badass up under there. Well, that is true, Brad, but this man has been running around with ch steel chairs and just crushing the soul of everyone as both men tie up again here. Another masked man getting the upper hand here as he takes down Shelton Benjamin. Like I said, this is our first real wrestling match. Oh, and now he's pounding the back here of Shelton Benjamin, the masked man. Getting him back to his feet here. Oh, what a nice knee shot of those ribs. He's targeting the ribs early. Smart move. Definitely a smart tactic by the masked man. Oh, loading up Shelton here is, oh my goodness. Another, oh. another set significant damage done to the ribs of Shelton Benjamin as he comes crashing off those ring ropes. And not only that, Brad, he falls to the outside mighty hard. The masked man walking around here, gonna pick Shelton Benjamin back up. Oh my goodness. The, the back and the ribs just getting smashed into the apron here. Oh my God, the masked man's not done. He's going right at Shelton here. We got our first cover. And Shelton Benjamin kicks out. Could have easily had a new champion there. The masked man's going right at those ribs here. Oh, Shelton ducks out of the way. Shelton ducks out of the way and a nice takedown onto the masked man. Oh, and he's borrowing plays out of other people's books as he goes with a double stomp to the chest. How long can Shelton Benjamin stay on that, you know, that, that quickness? How long can he maintain the ability, the agility over the masked man until, you know, the, the ribs are just too much? The masked man trying to get it back to his feet here. On a strike to the face of Shelton. Oh, and a nice takedown by the masked man. Oh, go for that huge German suplex here. Oh my, oh my God. The athleticism of Shelton Benjamin to land on his feet there. Max Man doesn't know what he's gotten himself into. Oh, and the nice agility shown by Shelton Benjamin to get out of the way as the Max Man goes crashing to the outside. Ring awareness. Ring awareness indeed. The veteran Shelton Benjamin is MDT United States Champion for a reason. Is Shelton Benjamin now I think he'd be thinking Arabian press here as he goes straight off the top. Oh, very oh. nice. Very nice athleticism shown by Shelton Benjamin. Hell yeah. The U.S. title on the line here. The MDT Royal Rumble. Shelton Benjamin rolling the masked man back inside the ring here. He's going to take a climb. He's thinking high risk. Oh, and here comes the masked man. Oh, here comes the masked man. Oh, oh and a huge belly to belly. Huge belly to belly suplex off the top row. We can have a new United States champion. And Shelton Benjamin stays alive. My God. I you risk for a reason. You know that that back and the ribs have to be in pain here as he loads up Benjamin. 
He loads Benjamin up. Benjamin trying to fight out of it, and he does. Oh, and a nice super kick to the face by Shelton Benjamin. Oh, and Shelton Benjamin not learning his lesson from the last time he climbed the, the top rope. He he's, knocked his ass out this time. Yeah, he's going back up. What's Shelton Benjamin thinking? Oh, my God, a 450 Jesus. splash. Days of old, he's calling up play. Oh, oh, look, the damaged ribs. He can't go for the cover, Brady. He hurt himself. Shelton making the cover now. And the masked man powers yeah. out. If only he could have made the cover after initially hitting that 450 splash, Brad. Who knows what would have happened. He, he might have had the three count. Shelton Benjamin taking the masked man back inside the corner. And he's loading him up again. And I think he... Oh, he's, he's looking for the T-bone suplex off the top, Brad. Oh, my oh, God! Shit! A tornado DDT! Jeez. Here's the cover. We can have a new champion! And Shelton no. Benjamin! Shelton Benjamin stays alive somehow. Off the tornado DDT. Reverse the T-bone suplex off the top rope. That man. was crazy. What a huge reversal by the masked man. But it's not enough to put away Shelton Benjamin here at the MDT Royal Rumble. And the masked man not happy about that situation. Here's all Shelton Benjamin from behind. He's trying to take that mask off. Brandy. He's gouging at his face. He's gouging at the face. He's trying to take that mask off. He's trying to unveil. Oh my God, the oh my God, who the hell is it? The mask came off, Brad. Who is it? Who the hell is it? Oh, he's taking, he's taking Shelton Benjamin down. What the hell is that? Who, who the hell is that's, Oh my God! It's Jack Swagger! It's Jack Swagger! What the hell? What the hell is this? The all-American, American Jack Swagger. He has the Patriot lock locked in on Shelton Benjamin. We haven't seen this man in months. What in the hell is this? And Shelton Benjamin oh taps out the new United States champion, Jack Swagger. I can't believe it. I, I cannot believe it. 100% American. And now he's the United States champion. I am completely mind blown, Brad. As Jack Swagger is your new United States champion. And the... And the masked man is unveiled to us. But why, Jack? Jack Swagger is your new United States champion as he is revealed as the masked man. What is good, everybody? It is Trey from My Damn Toys here telling you to go over to WrestlingFigures.com, Ringside Collectibles, and pre-order Elite Series 69 featuring first time in the line Ricochet, Mustafa Ali, and Bobby Lashley. Use promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. They have tons of new pre-orders and awesome action figures from WWE over on their website, guys. So go over there, pre-order these figures, and use that code to save some money. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the MDT Royal Rumble. Two matches down, but three more to go, including the next one. We have a chairs match for the MDT Iron Man Championship between Rusev and Cody Rhodes. This feud has been boiling over for months and months as Drew McIntyre has been involved, Elias has been involved, Braun Strowman was even involved at one point. And here we are culminating here at the Royal Rumble between Rusev and Cody Rhodes. I can't wait to see who comes out on top. Hell yeah. Making his way to the ring from Marietta, Georgia, weighing in 220 pounds, Cody Rhodes. Right as we know, Cody Rhodes did become the number one contender, but it was actually by the help of Rusev 
in that triple threat number one contenders match. It was Cody Rhodes taking on Drew McIntyre and Elias, and Rusev got involved after sitting ringside, and he ended up taking out Drew McIntyre, which led to the pinfall, thrusting Cody Rhodes into this matchup here tonight at the Royal Rumble. It's finally time for Cody to get this belt. Well, we're gonna have to see, Brad. He's got a tall task in front of him. When the Shakespeare is song teams with the rock star and a lion, it's a cause to celebrate. Of that, there's no denying. And without even trying, we got a holiday. Because, ladies and gentlemen, what day is today? Rusev Day! Rusev did claim that MDT Iron Man Championship at our last show. MDT sold out in a triple threat ladder match between none other than Cody Rhodes and Drew McIntyre. Uh, Cody Rhodes and Drew McIntyre were battling at the top of the ladder over the championship, and the championship uh, ended up falling out of their hands. Both of those men plummeted from the ladder, and Rusev walked out of MDT, sold out as your new MDT Iron Man Champion. I do love this handsome Rusev. Every day is Rusev Day, and it's going to be a very big one here. If he can pull it off versus Cody Rose as he goes straight at go. him into the corner. And Rusev just planting Cody Rhodes in the face with those stiff forearms as he shoves him into the corner. On oh, the, the base of this of Cody. Oh, and he kicks him square in the face. Very nice by Cody here. Brute strength versus speed and quickness here as he comes up the top rope with a shotgun drop kick to Rusev. Also a factor to think about Brad is Aiden English as he comes to the aid of Rusev right here. He can easily play a factor in this matchup. And I think that Cody uh -oh. Rhodes is thinking flight as he's going to bake on Hilo Jesus. over the top rope. And he's going to take out the help of Rusev and himself as he lays out Aiden English and Rusev. Taking flight like Iron Man. Does he have what it takes to win the championship? As Cody Rhodes using some innovation here as he's using all these different chairs. I mean, it is a chairs match, Brad. You are allowed to use these steel chairs. On the oh, oh, my goodness. On the outside, Rusev just taking it to Cody Rhodes now just wailing into it with that steel chair. I mean, this is what you expect out of the Iron Man Championship and a chairs match is you have every steel chair or any chair of that matter at your disposal. Oh, oh my goodness. He throws his face right into the barricade. And he gets him another chair, Rusev now. Just, Good God. He is just tattooing the back of Cody Rhodes with that steel chair. What is Rusev thinking now? He's making direct calls to Aiden English. And Aiden English walking over here. As I, I don't know what the hell they're saying, Brad. They're not mic'd up, so I really do not know what they're saying. But it looks like he is telling Aiden English to do something with these steel chairs. And like a good dog, Aiden English obeys. Oh, Rusev trying to battle with Cody as Cody's battling back here. Oh, and he throws him face first into the turnbuckle post. Oh, and I think Cody's going to get some revenge here. Absolutely. Oh, and now the roles are reversed as Cody Rhodes taking it to Rusev now as he lays him to waste. It looks like Aiden English may have accomplished his goal. He's made sort what of... What a beautiful art project. You're right. Oh, my Jeez. God. He destroyed his skull. Aiden English's skull has been destroyed by been Cody Rhodes. Right. My goodness. Oh, oh, and a huge matcha kick. Matcha kick to the face. It was like his own matcha terminator type move. Terminator. It was like a Van Terminator, but the matcha kick... Right in the face, we can have a retain. And ah. Cody Rhodes stays alive. I, I honestly can't believe it, Brad. I mean, that Machka kick knocked the hell out of Cody Rhodes. He must have mustered up just enough strength to get out of it and stay alive here in the Iron Man Championship Chairs match as Rusev's going to the outside now. Speaking of alive, Aiden is not. 
Aiden is not indeed. Rusev went to check on him, and I think he is lifeless. Yeah, he is definitely lifeless, Brad. It's, it looks like Rusev now building a, a pyramid of chairs. He's on got the his outside. own art project. He is making his own art project. Well, his, his artist is knocked unconscious on the outside. You got to do it yourself. You want things done right, you do it yourself indeed. And Rusev making a beautiful statue slash pyramid out here of chairs. And Cody Rhodes finally coming to life here as I think Rusev's own project's finally finished. Oh, what a nice baseball slide by Cody Rhodes. Oh, and a nice shot to the skull. Just stunned Rusev completely here after he bounced that chair right off the skull. Oh, what is, what is Cody Rhodes thinking now as he's trying to... Oh! And reversed as he goes back first into the apron. Cody Rhodes was thinking some sort of maneuver, but Rusev with the wherewithal to reverse it into a back body drop. Oh, and Rusev now. Rusev now trying to oh suplex God. Cody. Trying to suplex Cody into that pyramid of chairs. Oh, and a, a jawbreaker. Rusev, he could be going down. Oh, he saves himself. He saves us. Oh, my God, here comes the drop kick. Springboard drop kick. Oh, and he's coming down through the chairs. The chairman. The chairman. The beautiful art project of Rusev is ruined. Rusev Day could be in jeopardy, Brad. Rusev is completely buried underneath those steel chairs as Cody Rhodes is trying to make way. Throwing the chairs left and right, trying to get to the body of Rusev. And Aiden English still can't pull himself. He's got nothing left. He has absolutely nothing left. Here comes a cover. And ah! Rusev stays alive. My goodness. Not even the chair pyramid is enough to put away Rusev. Cody Rhodes now, I oh my God, he's making his way over to the other pro our project that Aiden English had planned. And a strike from Cody Rhodes here on the apron. Rusev kind of discombobulated. Aiden English back uh -oh. to life here from behind. Oh, he kicked him right in the nutsack. And Aiden English is going down. Oh, oh Rusev. Oh my God. Oh, Cody Rhodes reversed it. Oh my oh God. God. Crossroads into the pile of chairs. This is madness. God in heaven. What a reversal by Cody Rhodes. It looked like Rusev was going for a cutter of some kind. And Cody Rhodes reverses it into the crossroads. It's a cover. And he's done yeah. it, Brad. Cody Rhodes is the new Iron Man champion here at the MDT Royal Rumble. About damn time. He overcomes the odds. Rusev and Aiden English. Rusev Day has been canceled as Aiden English could not help Rusev enough. And Cody Rhodes is your new Iron Man champion on Vindication. And do you realize what this means, Brad? What's that? Every member of Bullet Club is holding gold. Oh my God. And there they are, the elite champion, Kenny Omega with his brother Cody Rhodes and the rest of the Bullet Club as they celebrate here at the MDT Royal Rumble. Every member holding straps of gold over on the blue brand of Vindication as Bullet Club reigns supreme.
What is good, everybody? It is Trey from My Damn Toys here, telling you to go over to Instagram and give us a follow at My Damn Toys. We post our customs, our videos, and everything that we talk about here on the channel over on our Instagram page, as well as bonus content that we also don't post here on YouTube. So if you want more content from us, go over to our Instagram page at My Damn Toys and enjoy the rest of the show. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are set for MDT Championship action. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is a triple threat match for the MDT Championship. Making his way through from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in 109 pounds, C. You know, Brad, interesting story coming into this matchup is that all three men of this triple threat matchup have a ton of momentum. CM Punk, just at our last show, MDT sold out, destroyed AJ Styles, and sent him packing away to the blue brand vindication, and now he dons his hoodie. Intrigue is it as a trophy of some sort. And he's got a big opportunity here tonight to claim his first ever championship in MDT with the MDT Championship, but he's got a daunting task if he wants to overcome Roman Reigns and the current champion, John Cena. Making his way to the ring from Pensacola, Florida, playing in a 265 pounds, Roman Reigns! Unlike... The big dog is there! Unlike Zack Ryder and MVP, Brad, the Usos are not banned from ringside, so if they wanted to get interfered in this matchup, they could totally do so, because in a triple threat match, anything goes. There's no disqualifications, and I actually talked to the Usos earlier in an interview, and they said that they're not necessarily around to, you know, do the big dog's work. They want to help him as a family would, but they are not going to do the dirty work for him per se. They're just going to help out if they are surely needed. The big dog doesn't need any help. Ever since he took Iron Life, it became what he is. He is on the road to death all on his own. Well, he's going to have to prove it here tonight, Brad, as he has a daunting task. Making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, he is the MDT champion, John. And there he is, the longest reigning champion in the history of MDT. The longest boy. John Cena on his way to the ring for the MDT Royal Rumble, Brad. Much like the other two, he also has a daunting task in front of him. Roman Reigns and Cena Punk are no doubt top talents in this industry, top talents on MDT Live, and they are ready to go to war, Brad. I call it a clash of titans because that is exactly what it is. All three of these men have what it takes to carry around. Two titans around. and a has-been. All three of these men have what it takes to tote around the MDT Championship, but who will it be tonight? Can Cena retain as he takes on Roman Reigns, the bloodline, and CM Punk? And we're off right here we go. Bell has rang and we are underway here as Roman Reigns is going to strike first. 
He's going right at both of them. Brad, he, he strikes Cena and he strikes right at Punk. Tossing CM Punk right out of the ring. That's something that CM Punk does not have, Brad. Is, Watch is, out, Roman. Oh, loading up for an AA early in the matchup here. Roman Reigns trying to fight out of it. He does. And he's striking back. CM Punk definitely doesn't have the strength in this matchup. And a big clothesline for Roman Reigns. On oh, CM Punk. Dragging Roman Reigns outside the ring now. Now see, he's proving you wrong. Oh, and a nice baseball slide by Cena taking out both men. But CM Punk, I, I just don't see the strength on hand here. Especially the strength that he lacks. He makes up for in craftiness. We'll have to see Brad in this matchup, but John Cena battling with Punk here in the corner. Those body shots and head shots, he's just taking it all to Punk here. Loading him up, and oh, here comes Roman Reigns. Yeah. Oh, and he Superman punches him. Brady fell. Oh, my goodness. God, what a fall. Roman Reigns, the big dog, with a huge Superman punch, and John Cena not paying attention here as he rolls through. And they're going to run circles while CM Punk is totally incapacitated on the outside after that massive Superman punch. My God. Roman Reigns that with the upper hand on John Cena right now. Brad, as he throws him into the ropes, coming back across. Oh, John Cena with a nice shoulder tackle. John Cena with a nice shoulder tackle, Brad. Trying to battle back here. Whoa. Oh, very nice. Classic John Cena on display here. Oh, John Cena looking for that springboard stunner here. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, what a spear. The spinal cord, the vertebrae of John Cena. Damn right. And Cena alive. They don't call him Super Cena for anything because if that would have been any normal human being, I think their vertebrae would have snapped in seven pieces, Brad. We can't be that lucky. And Roman oh, Reigns hey, now. taking out his frustrations on the Spanish announce table over there, the vindication side. And Roman Reigns getting rid of those monitors, and he's clearing it up, Brad. He may have future plans for that announce table as he's dragging John Cena's corpse outside the ring. Oh, as he drives him straight into the apron. Roman Reigns in full control early on in the matchup here as he loads him up and a nice back suplex onto the apron. Oh, it's CM Punk now. CM Punk now has some life. Oh, and he plants it. He's planting him off the announce Jesus. table. Get him away from ours. God. Five times there from CM Punk just plants Roman Reigns as he's gotten some momentum here on his side, throwing John Cena back inside the ring. On oh, CM Punk now thinking high risk, he's going to take a climb. He did this same exact maneuver against AJ Styles. Go for that elbow drop as he comes up empty, just like he did against AJ Styles. That crafty bastard. Going for the Macho Man elbow drop. He comes up empty and Cena. Awaiting here. Oh, he's loading him up for an AA. Oh, and he hits it. No. He lands the AA. Brad's can do it. Oh, and Roman Reigns breaks it up. Roman Reigns breaks it up, making sure that his championship hopes are still alive as he gets rid of John Cena immediately. Oh, Roman Reigns setting up for a spear in the corner. Waiting on CM Punk to get back up to his feet. On. Oh my God! CM Punk loads up Roman. Oh! Ew. Connects with a huge GTS as he goes for the cover. We can have a new champion. One, two, and Roman wow. Reigns, oh, the big dog, stays alive here. GTS right off the nose. Going to take more than that to put away Super Cena and the big dog. On oh, John Cena back to life here after getting thrown out of the ring by Roman Reigns. As he ties up with CM Punk, oh, he's going to bring him onto the apron. We saw this with Cody Rose and Rusev that ended in disaster. Could it call the same for these two as Roman Reigns is sitting up? I think he's going to be thinking a spear. He speared him right off the apron. What a huge spear by the big dog. MDT championship on the line. What a maneuver. As he picks up Cena, he's throwing him back inside the ring here. I think Roman Reigns may be looking for another spear. Trying to put John Cena away. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh he connects it. Huge spear by the big dog. Uh -huh. Oh, it's CM Punk now. 
CM Punk now thwarting the efforts of Roman Reigns just as Roman Reigns did before. Oh, he loads him up. Oh, and another GTS off the nose to Roman Reigns. I can hear it. I think we're at two, two GTSs now to the face of Roman Reigns. And what the hell is CM Punk thinking now? Oh, my goodness. Where's this man going? I, I've seen it all tonight, Brad. I've seen it all. There's more scaffolding. I've seen it all. CM Punk to the top of the scaffolding in the corner of the arena. And it looks like he's thinking high risk here. He missed his first elbow drop. What makes him think he's going to hit the second one? He's coming down. Oh, my goodness. He comes crashing through the announce table. Jesus. Holy shit, indeed. CM Punk comes crashing through the announce table onto Roman Reigns, and now John Cena picking up the lifeless Punk and throwing him back inside that? the ring. Was it worth it? Was it worth it, CM Punk? No. Oh, John Cena looking for an AA here. Jeez. Oh, he's looking for an AA here. Oh, he connected it. This is it. Oh! Yes. And Jay Uso from behind with the championship. Right in the back of the skull of John Cena. Beautiful. He had the thing won. I guess the Usos felt the need that they had to get involved, Brad. And it looks like they're signaling that they're gonna they're gonna take flight on John Cena. Hell yeah. Oh, they're looking for the double super fly right onto the chest of Cena. As both men come crawling down, here's the cover. And Cena Good. stays alive! God. Cena's alive and well. You could drop that man out of a helicopter and he'd still kick out at two. You say it every time, Brad, and it still remains true. God! It, it takes everything and anything to put John Cena down. You Son of to, a bitch! You have to put this man down with everything you have as the Usos are holding, holding John Cena steady as Roman Reigns looks for the spear. Oh! oh he jumps over Roman Reigns! God! Oh, John Cena loading up one of the Usos! He plants Jimmy! Oh, now Jay's getting some of the action as he loads up Jay now! And another AA onto the other oh. Uso! Oh, Punk now looking for the GTS! He's looking for the GTS! Like uh. Cena, Cena squirming out now! Loading up Punk! He connects it. Oh, he's rolling through, Brad. He's rolling through. This is it. John Cena's got it. He's got it. He's got to go. Roman. Oh, Roman. Roman Reigns. Roman's still in the cover. Yeah. And he got it. Yeah. A new MDT champion. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. Steals one from John Cena. Steals it. That was a genius move. He comes in at the last second and shoves John Cena out of the ring to claim the MDT Championship. Cena had no idea. He evaded the spear. He set up both Usos for an AA. He hits Punk with a double AA, and Roman Reigns swoops in and steals it from under the nose of John Cena. And the bloodline hold all of the gold on MDT Live as Roman Reigns is your new MDT champion.
What is good, everybody? It is Trey from My Damn Toys here telling you to please give us a long review in the comment section below. Please avoid spoilers. You know, put spoiler alert and give us some space so that, you know, you have to click read more in order to see what you're, you know, explaining to the audience or the, the comment section below. But I really appreciate long reviews. If you guys want to do five-star rating system like Dave Meltzer or you just want to review the show in its entirety or just talk about the show, what your favorite parts were, the feuds you enjoyed, the matches you enjoyed, the, the moments in the match, the moments in the rumble, whatever the case may be, please let me know down in the comment section below. It really helps us improve our shows for the next time, and I enjoy it so much. It's my favorite thing about the entire experience is your guys' feedback, what your thoughts are, what your predictions are, and everything like that. So please review it down in the comment section below. Please review, uh, avoid spoilers, and I would really appreciate it, guys. But enjoy the rest of the show, and I love you. The following is the 30-man Royal Rumble match. In just a moment, the superstars who drew numbers 1 and 2 will start off in the ring. After that, every 50 to 70 seconds, another superstar will join the match, and this will continue until all 30 superstars have joined. Eliminations occur when a superstar is thrown over the top rope with both feet hitting the floor. The last man in the ring will be declared the Royal Rumble winner and will go on to face the champion of their choosing at Miami Nation. And it looks like Jeff Hardy will be the first ever entrant in the history of the MDT Royal Rumble. Hell yeah. Introducing first. Oh, and Jeff Hardy dressed as the Punisher here tonight. That looks sick as hell. In Madison Square Garden for the MDT Royal Rumble. He's ready to do war inside the ring. If he held on to them guns, he'd probably do better. I don't doubt that for a second, Brad. I think if anybody were to bring a weapon into the MDT Royal Rumble, especially a firearm for that matter, they would definitely have a real shot. Who drew number two? Introducing entry number two from Dan Black, making it 217 pounds, Seth Rollins! Well, that's, that's got to be Kurt Hawkins' entry into the Royal Rumble, right, Brad? I mean, I mean, I guess Seth, that's the only thing that makes sense. Seth Rollins lost his qualifier to Chris Jericho due to the bloodline and Roman Reigns, and he somehow ends up with a ball here tonight. I. I guess that's who the who picked up the, the loose ball rolling around in the hallway here. And Seth Rollins is gonna have an opportunity here at intro number two to, to have a chance here. Things do come full circle, it seems, as he's gonna have a chance here in the Royal Rumble after losing his qualifier to, to Chris Jericho after interference from Roman and the Usos. And we're starting off our Rumble, Brad, between Jeff Hardy and Seth Rollins here. Both men lock up in the middle of the ring. We only have 15 confirmed entrants for tonight's Rumble, Brad, so you know anything is possible. Uh-oh. Hardy looking for a twist of fate earlier. That's over. Seth Rollins having, having none of it here. Ooh. The nice close on by Hardy. Ooh. Very nice by Hardy early on in the Royal Rumble. Going for the elimination early as both men are tying up. Both men shot straight out of a cannon here, wasting no time getting to the eliminations. Absolutely, you want to get this man out of here as soon as possible. Oh, and Jeff Hardy. Seth Rollins probably has the leverage here, trying to flip him out, Crispin Wall style, as the, as the clock counts down. And we're gonna find out who drew number three. And it's the villain, Marty Skrull. Hell yeah. But we do know that that was Kenny Omega's original number, Brad. They did switch in the backstage area. So now, Corey Skrull is donning the Dell Earnhardt number as he comes out here at the MDT Royal Rumble, wielding the umbrella. Oh, he Ooh. pops Seth Rollins right on the back. That made a funny noise. And yeah. another shot to Seth Rollins' back with that umbrella. Just a wicked whack. And he's trying to choke the life out of Seth Rollins now. Jeff Hardy behind. And Jeff Hardy coming in. 
Oh, nice drop kick to the back of Skrull. Maybe trying to get that Umbro out of his hand now. And oh, set up perfect for uh -oh. some poetry in motion. Here comes Jeff Hardy. Anybody's a tag team partner of Jeff Hardy when he, he can just use anybody to his advantage. Vintage Hardy. And now Hardy wailing on Rollins in the corner. Trying to eliminate Rollins, get the threat out of his out of his way here in the MDT Royal Rumble. And now entry number four is coming down. And Marty Skrull waiting in the ring. Where is it? Oh, it's the, the newest signee to MDT Live, Cedric Alexander. I read the rumor she grabbed, but I didn't know if it was true. And here he is in the flesh, Cedric Alexander. Making his presence here in the MDC Super Royal Rumble. excited. Coming in hot with a beautiful drop kick to Skrull. A little drop kick to the knee. And he finishes it off with another kick to the face. Welcome to MDT Cedric Alexander. And Hardy's still trying to eliminate Rollins with a big clothesline here on the outside. And Hardy may be looking springboard uh -oh. here. Oh, it's Seth Rollins evades it. The backfire. Jeff Hardy went straight through the middle rope. That's the thing, though. He did go through the middle rope, Brad. Oh, my goodness. A kick to the back of the skull. Jeff Hardy Jeff Hardy is not eliminated, Brad. He is not eliminated. He went through the middle rope, so he will be eligible to get back in this ring here. Cedric tries to take advantage from behind on Seth Rollins. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. It's Samuel Zayn. When's the last time we saw Sami Zayn, Brad? It's been a damn while. It's been a long time since we've seen Sami Zayn. And here he is. Anything's possible. Let's go. Anything is possible at the MDT Royal Rumble as number five is Sami Zayn. Too bad he missed out on his boy Kevin Owens in that Extreme Championship match. And oh my God, here comes Sami Zayn. Look out. Oh, he's coming through the, the freaking turn. Oh my this. God. A dive through the post with a huge tornado DDT to Jeff Hardy. What taking, an entrance. Taking him out again. I don't know what issues he had with Jeff Hardy there, but Marty Skrull, anyways, coming in from behind with a huge German to Cedric Alexander. Welcome to MDT, Mr. Alexander. Oh, Sammy, Sammy Zayn now trying to eliminate Rollins. Rollins having none of it here as he kicks him square in the skull. It's just, it's so nice to see Sam, Samuel Zane in this capacity. Absolutely. Oh, and a very nice knee off the springboard there. But he does have the knee brace on, Brad. That's that badly injured knee that Chris Jericho, among others, have been exploiting over the weeks. Here comes entry number six. The new Iron Man champion. The new Iron Man champion indeed. Cody Rhodes will be entering the Royal Rumble. And he's paying the... He's paying the price for that chairs match earlier with Rusev as he's, he's wielding the rib wrap. The ribs are all taped up after delivering that huge crossroads to Rusev under that bed of chairs. And here comes Rhodes trying to go right at Rollins. He's having none of it though. Rollins coming right back at him here. And Rhodes has already wrestled one match tonight here, Brad. Oh! And Skrull going right at the back of the knee. Chop block. Right on the injured knee of Seth Rollins. Better be glad he wore that brace. We could be talking some bad news here. And Sami Zayn going to war with the Bullet Club now. I think Bullet Club realizes they got the two on one advantage and they take down Sami Zayn with a huge clothesline. Jeff Hardy back in the mix. Jeff Hardy getting back in the mix here. Brad as he's coming down off the top. Oh, look at that axe handle. Comes up empty. Oh, Bullet Club teaming up on Mr. Hardy. He oh, can be no. eliminated. We can have our first elimination. Oh, Jeff Hardy hanging on. Jeff Hardy barely hanging on. Here's where we're number seven. Hanging on tight. No way. A new signee to vindication. Can it be? It is. Oh, yeah. Matthew Hardy, brother of Jeff. Is here at MDT. Hell yeah! At the Royal Rumble. Coming to save brother Jeff here from the Bullet Club as he lays on the way. Kick it ass! Double clothesline here. Taking Rhodes to the corner. 
Oh, and he is just mashing Cody Rhodes' face into that turnbuckle. Shades of new here with Mr. Love Hardy. It. As he is just ricocheting Cody Rhodes' face off that top turnbuckle. Yeah. As he takes it to the second level of the turnbuckle now. My God, Cody Rhodes is going to be just absolutely wasted after a multiple shot. I mean, this guy's got to have a concussion by absolutely now. Absolutely not. He has is, he is just destroyed this man. As now Marty trying to come to the aid. He comes up empty, but there's vintage Hardy Boys at work here. Beautiful. Great work by Matthew and Jeffrey Hardy as Matt Hardy trying to eliminate the villain. Jeff Hardy throwing Cody Rhodes across the ring. Now, oh, there's Cedric. Oh, he's looking for the lumbar check. Oh, my God. Oh, and launches Cody Rhodes right out of the ring. Right. And ladies and gentlemen, as, as whichever young buck makes their appearance, Matt Jackson, that was the first ever. Hey, oh, he's a little late. That was the first ever elimination in MDT Royal Rumble history. Cedric Alexander to Cody Rhodes. And yes, you are right, Brad. Matt Jackson just a little bit late. If he had been there just a second earlier. Uh-oh. Oh, and Cedric ducking out of the way here. Oh, he's trying to load up Matt Jackson here. Oh, he's loading him up. What is what is Cedric thinking? Oh, my <laughs> goodness. The back It was like a huge powerbomb backstabber maneuver from Cedric Alexander. And the Hardy Boys double team in Bullet Club in the corner. Marty Skrull all alone. Both Bullet Club members are separated here. It's Matt Jackson in one corner and Marty Skrull in the other. Look out, Sammy Zayn! Oh, oh, and a double halluva kick to Matt Jackson and Cedric Alexander now. Sammy Zayn in the flesh with the halluva kick here in the Royal Rumble. And Sammy Zayn now trying to eliminate Cedric, but Seth Rollins coming in. The knee of Seth Rollins is fine here, Brad, as he decides to get back into the action, taking it to Sami Zayn in the corner now. Oh, what is Seth Rollins thinking? He's going, going to the top turnbuckle, which is very dangerous in a situation What's like the this. Point? Oh, he's looking for the super flash. Oh, but he's not done. Brad, he rolls through. He's looking for the fucking arrow. Oh. And he lands it right on Matt Jackson's back. Oh, and here comes one half of rated RKO. It's the legend killer, the Viper. The Apex Predator, the most, the three most devastating letters in sports entertainment. Randall Keith Orton making his presence here at the MDT Royal Rumble and entry number nine. On oh, Randy Orton slithering into the He's ring. He's already ready to strike. You already know it, Brad. Here he comes. Oh, and an RKO out of nowhere to Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins laid out by Randy, Randy Keith Orton. Seth Rollins has to roll out of the way here. Oh, Jeff Hardy uh -oh. trying to get into the mix. Oh, and he gets it. An RKO for his efforts as Jeff Hardy is laid out. Already two. That's right, an RKO party here. As he hands out one to Jeff, he's looking to hand out one to Matt. But Matt's not having any of it, uh -oh. Brad. We may get a twist of fate here. Matt Hardy looking for twist of fate. Oh, oh. oh Randy reverses it into his own RKO. Yeah. So three RKOs, one for Seth Rollins, one for Jeff Hardy, and one for Matt Hardy. Diamond Cutter knocked And now he's trying to eliminate Cedric Alexander. Oh my goodness. Jack Gallagher. It is Jack Gallagher. What does this mean for the rest of the field? At entry number 10. He's got an umbrella. The gentleman, umbrella in hand, entering into the Rumble. Oh. oh, we've got a clash of styles here as Gentleman Jack goes one-on-one -on -one with the villain in the middle of the ring. I wonder what the hell they're talking about. It looks like they're going to have an oh, um... It's a an, duel. It's an umbrella duel. <laughs> Pop to the skull from Murray to Jack. And he pops him right back. And they're teeing off on one, one another now. I love it. Both men just trading blows with the umbrella. Oh! Good. In a low blow right to the ball sack. Oh, oh and he Jesus. adds insult to injury as he cracks him across the skull with the umbrella. Oh, RKO. like an, an RKO out of nowhere by Randy Orton. Oh, and the villain. Oh, no. The villain is eliminated. Another member of Bullet Club. Oh, and a oh. curb stop. 
a curb stop to Jack Gallagher. And that's got to be the shortest entry in our history so far. The Umbrella War did not pay off for both men as they're both eliminated, but here comes Samoa and Joseph. Joe and Samoa. He didn't qualify for the Rumble, but he is somehow here in this in this Royal Rumble matchup. Hey, go wash up. <laughs> Very courteous of Joe here as he comes like a bat out of hell, taking it right into Rollins. Shot after shot. Just we got a Ring of Honor ass whooping. He is just laying into Rollins now. And he takes it across the ring into, into Cedric. Oh! And the overhead kick. Samoa Joe just going batshit over here. Going crazy. Took out Seth. Took out Cedric. Now trying to eliminate Sami Zayn. I mean, what the hell? Ooh. Sami Zayn trying to fight back. Trying to live a little bit longer here in this Royal Rumble match as he flips Look at over. this. Was flipping over Joe. He's coming back across. Oh! oh! The Luba kick. It doesn't have to be in the corner. And Sami Zayn now. Oh, he may be thinking that tornado DDT up the ropes. Look at this. Oh, but Cedric out oh, of no! He reverses oh, no! it. He reverses it into a lumbar check. Oh, my goodness. And entrant number 12. We have to shift our focus to Dolph Ziggler at entrant number 12. But that lumbar check out of the out of the springboard from, from Sami Zayn would have moved. Man. Dolph Ziggler showing no signs of wear as he super kicks Cedric square in the face. Stinger splash. And he hits Randy with a stinger splash into the corner onto Matt Hardy. Oh, it looks like we're, we're having a splash party, Brad. It's the summer. It's summer slam out here as we're just getting all our splashes out. Oh, oh my goodness. Can't. He super kicked him out of midair. I, thought I, I think I caught a tooth. Dolph Ziggler coming in hot, but... He has to pay the ultimate price. Oh, now we have Young Bucks clashing with the Legend Killer here. Randy Orton working on Matt Jackson in the corner here as the clock continues to count down. Come on, Matt. Show him that indie style. Oh, he super kicked him square in the face through his leg, Brad. Up on his shoulder. He loads him oh, up. Oh, shit. Here comes brother Nick Jackson. Come on, Nick. Number 13. They obviously knew the numbers because, I mean, they, they discussed it backstage with the Bullet Club. But here comes Nick Jackson here. He's got the arm of Randy Look Orton. Look at this. What is this man thinking? Oh, my ah! God. What in the hell was that? That's an RKO. Talk about an RKO out of nowhere, Brad. My God. This man ran up like three rows of ropes. Springboard RKO from the top. Absolute madness. How about that dive? Absolutely. Everyone in this match discombobulated to the fullest. We have been going non-stop here as entrant number 14. Looks like they're going to come out a little bit early. And let's see who it is. And it's Kofi Kingston. Representing his New Day brothers here tonight at the MDT Royal Rumble. The only member to qualify, but a honorable member at that. Here comes Kofi. Samoa Joe in the middle of the ring. Kofi going to decide to springboard his way in here. Oh, he takes out Joe, but... Oh, got the, him on a roll up. The strength of Joe on display here is... Oh, he's going to try and dump Kofi out to the outside. Oh, Kofi going quick. Yeah, he's trying to battle here. He's trying to battle here. He's... He's barely hanging on. Oh, Matt Hardy from behind. Matt Hardy trying to eliminate Joe. Joe having none of it here. Oh, oh, Joe. Joe's got him up in a suplex. Yeah. There's a dangerous predicament for Matt Hardy. Oh, my oh. goodness. And the buck super kick. And Matt Hardy oh, spills no. all the way to the outside. The newest signee of Vindication is gone. Oh, man. Kobe battling. Oh my Ooh. goodness! Just all these men beating the absolute hell out of each other in this world. Kofi hanging by thread. And number 15 is none other than Apollo Crews. Haven't seen that man on MDT Live since he lost his Plenty of the Bank qualifier to Neville many months back. Taking out both bucks. Looking at Joe. 
athleticism on display here from Apollo Cruz here. Oh! Uh, oh, it could be calling it early here tonight. He could be calling it early. He could be eliminated right now. Kofi on the springboard. Oh, and the oh. double stop taking out Joe. And Apollo Cruz to follow. Oh, and the oh. shooting star press. Great athleticism shown by Kofi Kingston and Apollo Cruz. The athletic in ability. Oh, the sling blade by Seth Rollins. It's just non-stop action here in the Royal Rumble Brand. Just men flying all over the ring. Absolutely. And here comes the other half of Rated RKO. It is none other than the first ever MDT champion, Edge, making his way to the ring for the MDT Royal Rumble. Gonna join in with his partner Randy Orton here in the match. Oh, oh. and a spear right off the gate. Right off the gate, he hits two. He hits two spears on Jeff Hardy and Dolph Ziggler. And Edge looking for any victim he can as he sets his sights now on Apollo Crews. Lining up a third. Absolutely grab it. Oh, here comes Nick Jackson. All right. Nick Jackson behind us. So we have rated RKO ticket on the Young Bucks here. Oh, Edge. Edge trying to eliminate Nick Jackson. Oh, and Matt. Oh, no. Matt misses the super kick and takes out his brother Nick. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Oh, and Randy Orton from behind. Both bucks of youth are gone. The entrant number 17. Oh, what, what a surprise, oh, Brad. Wow. It's the Bruiserweight. The Bruiserweight is here in MDT. Peter Dunn. Peter Dunn. Peter Dunbar is here. What could this mean for the rest of the field? As here he comes straight at Cedric Alexander. Stomping away at Cedric. Two of the newest members of MDT going head to head here. And just stomping the face, my God. The roughness and the brutality of the Bruiserweight on display. Oh, he may be trying to eliminate Cedric here. Pete Dunn trying to eliminate Cedric Alexander here in the Royal Rumble. Careful now. Oh, and all three men. Oh, all three men just assaulting Apollo Crews in the corner. Rated RKO and Samoa Joe. Imagine those three together. Unstoppable. Absolutely. Oh, and Apollo Crews is gone. Oh, no. All three men were too much for Apollo Crews. Uh-oh, Joe, Joe's, oh. Joe's in a careless situation. Oh, he gets clotheslined. And he's oh, failing, loving one. They used him to their advantage, Rated RKO. They used Joe to take out Crews. Oh, shit. Number 18 is the cleaner, the elite champion, Kenny Omega. He is here. I guess that's the best number that Bullet Club drew tonight in the Rumble, in the Rumble lottery box. But he has no help. He has no help. That is correct. Cody Rhodes was eliminated. Marty Skrull was eliminated. And both Bucks of you both eliminated. So Cody, uh, Kenny Omega is going to have to do it all on his own, Brad. Oh, oh. my goodness. A huge V-trigger to the skull. Oh, and another oh. V-trigger. Oh, what the hell is that? Kofi Kingston landed on Apollo Crews. Kofi's feet have not touched the floor. Kofi, Kofi is definitely not eliminated. Brady is somehow alive. He landed on Apollo Crews. And I'm going to be honest with you. If I was Apollo Crews, I'd say get the hell off of me. Absolutely. I'm eliminated from the match. You're coming with me. But that's not, I guess he's going to help a brother out here. As... Apollo Crew. Oh, Kenny Omega from Watch behind out, on Seth. Rollins. Good Lord. He landed it by the knee, Brad. The knee. And Kenny bringing it to, to Ray RKO now, who eliminated three of their of the Bullet Club members as Kofi makes it safely. Wow. He made it safely back after using Apollo Cruz as a crutch. Well, now we know. Uh, oh, my hero! We now know where uh, one of those balls went that he stole from Eric Bischoff. What are you talking about? I, I what I want to know is where the hell the second ball went. Who who? I didn't I didn't see no second ball. I don't know what the hell you're talking about? El Generico coming down here. Uh, oh oh, what the hell is this? Oh, he just pulls Cedric Alexander out. Now Cedric Alexander is eliminated from the Royal Rumble. He's just wailing into him. What the hell's his problem? Sit down, Coach Ray. He didn't care. 
and it seemed mighty odd that he just seemed to pick Cedric Alexander out of the field. Oh, and here comes Hardy. What the hell was El Generico doing? He just came straight down and eliminated Cedric Alexander for no good reason. And here comes Jeff Hardy. He's going to take a high risk, and we could be looking at a Swanton bomb. Ah! And he connects at Jeff Hardy, laying out Edge. We are awaiting entrant number 20 into the matchup as Edge almost eliminated by Omega. Oh, shit. He's here! Bray Wyatt! Bray Wyatt is here, finally! Oh, my goodness, and a huge close on to Omega. Just beheaded Kenny. Bray Wyatt been sending subliminal messages to Kenny Omega for weeks and Bray Wyatt's coming across now and oh my goodness he eliminates both members of Rated Arcaro single handedly takes out one of the best tag teams takes out Randy Orton and Edge both in one swipe now oh my oh. goodness Aranagi to Dolph Ziggler landing on the neck here as Kenny Omega's gonna come after Bray Kenny's not gonna have it uh oh here comes Kenny Omega showing off the athleticism Oh, very nice. That leapfrog bulldog. Beautiful. To the face of Wyatt. As we're counting down here at number 21. Oh, the curve stop to Bray Wyatt. Oh, oh, number shit. 21 is Adam Cole. Holy shit. He turned in his Bullet Club Money in the Bank briefcase. I guess he, he could afford to buy a number into the Royal Rumble. Kenny Omega does not look happy. Absolutely not. They got an eight. Adam pulls here the MDT Royal Rumble. Here he comes, Brad. And him and Kenny are going to go at war. Here they go. They got an ass whooping. They're teeing off on each other in the middle of the ring. What a knee strike by Cole. Uh oh. Oh, he's loading Kenny up. Oh, a huge neck breaker to Kenny Omega. Pete Dunn. Oh, here comes Pete Dunn. Oh, look at the bitter end! He nailed it. it! Adam Cole, celebration short-lived here. On oh, Ziggler! Oh, Zigzag! And he nails it on Dunn! Back to back to back, big moves here. And then a kick to the chest of Ziggler. Good God, let me get a breath! I know, right? That's just madness flying around everywhere. Oh, and Generico! Generico! Oh, oh no! Kofi Kingston eliminated here in the Royal Rumble. And number 22 oh, God. is the GOAT, none other than Chris Jericho. He defeated Seth Rollins to qualify for the Rumble, and here he is in entry number 22. How will the GOAT fare tonight in the MDT Royal Rumble? Oh, Seth Rollins from oh, behind no. Generico. And Generico is eliminated. The hero is gone. Chris Jericho looking on. and Oh, Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy up from behind trying to eliminate Rollins. Oh, oh. Rollins barely hanging on. He had that bottom rope tucked tight. Trying to lift himself back inside the ring. The core strength. That's that, uh, that crossfit for him. Absolutely. Oh, here comes Kenny. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh. And a reverse Frankensteiner. Oh, what a oh, huge oh. kick to the skull. Jeff Hardy has to be out cold. Oh. And Jericho not slowing down. Nothing can. Just madness happening around this ring. Carnage. Omega takes on Jericho. Oh, my goodness. What the hell? Oh my goodness. It's Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode is here at MDT. And it is glorious. It is glorious. Number 23 is Robert Roode. What a beautiful looking road. Absolutely. In all his gloriousness, Bobby Roode enters the Royal Rumble match. He's going right at Bray Wyatt. Well, take it to Bray. Oh, and Ziggler with a huge super kick to Bray. Oh, but Bobby Roode's not safe as he gets taken out with a super kick of his own by Adam Cole. 
Oh, Pete Dunn now scoring off of Adam Cole. Oh, Ziggler. I guess Ziggler wants some of the action. Oh, and now we got... We're playing four square now. But instead of, you know, with, with kick pin balls, we're using fists and kicks. Fists and kicks. And Seth Rollins lays into Cole. Cole lays into Dunn. Dunn lays into Ziggler. And Ziggler lays into Rollins. And we're going round again, Brad. We're going round Look again. As all the four men are just trading blows in the middle of the ring. What in the hell is this? Oh, and Seth going to take it up and he kicks Adam Cole. Oh, and a super kick. Oh, and a discus lariat forearm. And another super kick as all four men just take yeah. each other out. Oh. Number 24 is the phenomenal AJ Styles. My goodness, Brad. This this Royal Rumble has been too much. I mean, bodies just flying everywhere. I can't get a damn breath in. I, I mean, I can't even focus, and AJ Styles is here. Oh, it's oh Kenny, no! Kenny Omega! Kenny Omega going right at AJ! Oh, he's trying to take him out before he even has a chance to enter the match! On Jericho with a huge lion salt to Rollins. Beautiful. Rivalry renewed here in the Royal Rumble. And Bray Wyatt and Chris Jericho, we don't get to see this as they are on opposite brands, but Jeff Hardy, not gonna Hardy. not allowing the confrontation as he takes them both out. Oh, and Hardy not done Look here. Look at this. Looking for a whisper of the wind. Jesus. And he takes out both men. Oh, it's Ziggler. Ziggler looking for Rude here. Oh my oh. goodness, and a huge spine buster. Beautiful. One of the best spine busters in the game. Absolutely. Oh, number 25. Oh. Number 25 is the king of the cruiserweights, Neville. He is here in the MDT Royal Rumble. Oh, he's flying down, Brad. He's flung a bat out of hell. Absolutely. Coming straight in. Ready to kick some ass. Oh, look at the athleticism. Oh, another Frankensteiner ah. to Rude. Oh, Bobby Rude could be gone. Oh, he's gone. The gloriousness is out of the Royal Rumble. Where will we see him land? Vindication or MDT Live? Oh, Neville not done here. Oh, my goodness. Great athleticism on display here by Neville. And Pete Dunne trying to eliminate oh, Neville. No. Pete Dunne trying to eliminate Neville. Oh, what a huge kick to the skull of Pete Dunne. Oh, and Adam Cole going to throw over Pete oh, Dunne. No. Oh, Pete Dunne eliminated from the Royal Rumble as we await number 26. Oh, oh my. Oh, my God. Wow, what a surprise. The dream is here. G-R-E-A-M. The dream is here in MDT. Velveteen Dream at number 26. What a surprise. Velveteen Dream, how will he fare in his debut? I love it. Oh, it looks like the dream's taking a climb Going here. up top. Oh, here it comes! Purple Rainmaker! Purple Rainmaker to the back of Hardy! And he's not done with him! He's going to dispose no! of the legend! And Jeff Hardy in from entrant number one, finally eliminated. What a great effort by Hardy. Can't quite go the distance. Oh, looking for Sister Abigail. Look at that! Oh, my Lord! What a reversal into the Dream DDT! Damn. God almighty. And Omega continuing his assault on the outside to AJ Styles. AJ Styles hasn't even gotten in the ring yet. Oh, Velveteen Dream. Dream. He doesn't like that. As he takes out Omega. And he's, he just scoops AJ Styles up by the skull. Wow. Just hanging him all upside down. It's again. Number 27 is Cesaro, Brad. It's the Swiss Superman. What a number for Cesaro. That's a very good chance now. We're getting to the late numbers. Anybody can win this thing now. Absolutely. Here comes a Swiss cyborg, Brad. And I'm sure that he's got plans for an uppercut party. Absolutely. And an uppercut party's madness. Just delivering to Ziggler, to Rollins, to Neville. No one is safe. 
Uppercut party because an uppercut party don't stop. Ass whooping. Just delivering strikes after strikes. Destroying every man in this match. He really is a cyborg, Brad. The man doesn't stop. Absolutely. Just laying to waste all four men in the corner. Jericho and Dream. Jericho trying to eliminate Velveteen Dream here. Trying to thwart those MDT Dreams. Trying to eliminate Velveteen, but Velveteen's trying to bow back. Oh! Look at this. Velveteen holds up Chris Jericho. Oh my god! Holy shit! The Dream Valley driver into the apron and Jericho is eliminated by the Dream! What a move and a night for Velveteen! Oh my Holy goodness! Shit. It's Kurt Angle! Olympic gold medalist winner! What, what are the odds of this? And I just want to add that Cesaro is still swinging Bray Wyatt around the ring right now. This is absurdity. Oh! V trigger off of the Cesaro God. swing and he is gone. Absolutely. Bray Wyatt is eliminated. Disrupting the entrance of Kurt Angle, not a good idea. As here comes Kurt Angle himself. Oh, and a big suplex, vintage angle. Oh, Ziggler. Watch out. Ziggler with a super kick. Oh, oh, oh he missed. Oh, Kurt Angle loaned him up. Look at that. Oh, with an angle slam. Oh, Ziggler's in trouble. Oh, oh and man. Ziggler gets destroyed and sent flying out of the ring by the legendary Kurt Angle. Oh, and a quick exploder. That don't matter a damn to Kenny Omega. A exploder. Oh, and Neville. What's Neville? I don't think Omega sees him behind him. He doesn't see Neville. Neville on the shoulders of Omega. Oh, man. Oh, he's fighting. Oh, my oh, God. No! Oh, a one-winged angel to the king of the cruiserweights. Oh, crap. And Neville is eliminated. Jesus. Tron, That's it, crazy. Finn Balor's dead. Everybody knows that. And then Ty Dillinger comes out of nowhere. Oh my God, he is going to get an ass whooping. Oh, and Kenny Omega, I guess thought that I, I don't, I don't know what the hell's going on, Brad. But what was that? Kenny Omega is going ape shit on Ty Dillinger though, as if it's his fault, and he is just waxing his face off that stone wall in the entrance. Oh my goodness. What the hell was I am, that? I am so confused right now. Kenny Omega eliminated from behind on Adam Cole. We still got a match to do. We do I mean, we still got to find out who's going to win this Royal Rumble. As entrant number 30 is just beyond these three seconds. As Seth Rollins barely hangs on. Oh my God. The return. It's been a long time coming. 
He was out with a neck injury. He suffered a neck injury at the hands of Finn Balor and the Bullet Club many moons ago. And he's back. Shinsuke Nakamura yeah. is entry number 30 into the MDT Royal Rumble. I can't believe it, Brad. Shinsuke is back on vindication. Hell yeah. How will he fare in the Rumble, though? He's got to have some ring rust. No, absolutely not. And it's down to this, Brad. All these men that are in the ring, this is who it comes down to. And here comes Nakamura. Knee strike. Oh, and a huge stomp to the skull. We have Seth Rollins, Kurt Angle, AJ Styles, Velveteen Dream, Cesaro, Adam Cole. Oh, Cesaro's trying to eliminate Kurt Angle. Cesaro's trying to eliminate Kurt Angle here. Hang on. Oh, my God. Oh. What a move by Angle. What a move by Angle throwing Cesaro out of the ring. Wow. What a move. Oh, he's in a precarious situation. Oh, my oh. God. A huge curb stomp. And Kurt Angle and Cesaro are gone. We're down to five. And Dream going at AJ Styles. Dream trying to eliminate AJ Styles here. Both men going head to head here. Oh, the leverage. AJ Styles with the leverage. Oh, man. Oh, the Seth Rollins coming yeah. from behind. Oh, Dream. Oh. Dream's gone. Velveteen Dream is gone. And Seth Rollins has eliminated Angle and Dream here in the last few moments. Oh, what is Cole doing? What is what is Adam Cole doing? Oh my goodness! Oh! Panama Sunrise to the engine that surgically repaired neck of Shinsuke Nakamura. And he's out for now. Oh, oh Rollins could be in trouble. Rollins and AJ Styles both on the apron. Oh my goodness, Adam Cole battling. AJ back in. AJ taking it to Cole now. Rollins, all four men, we're down to four. In this matchup, who will it be? Oh, and a oh. huge springboard double close by Rollins. On to Cole and Styles. Oh my goodness! Double Kinshasa! Double Kinshasa indeed to Cole and Styles. Lays them both out in Shinsuke Nakamura now. Directing traffic. And AJ Styles is gone. gone. After that huge Kinshasa. Adam Cole. Oh. Cole and AJ Styles are eliminated. This is it. We're down to two. Nakamura and Rollins. Oh, what the hell? What the hell is that? Oh, no. oh my god, I completely forgot about Dillinger. Oh, and Seth Rollins oh. is just going to take out the trash with a huge curb stop and Nakamura cleans him up with a Kinshasa. Poor Dillinger. This was not his night, Brad. No. This was not his night. My God. And it's all down to this, Brad. Nakamura and Rollins going head to head. Who's going to my damn nation? Both men tying up here. Oh, Shinsuke getting the upper hand. Definitely more fresh. You have the number two entrant versus the number 30. Absolutely. Will that play a factor? Shinsuke here. Oh, he's, he's going for that final blow of the Kinshasa. Oh, no. Oh, Rollins blocks it. Rollins rolls out of the way. Oh, he's looking for the elimination. Oh, oh shit. He's looking for the elimination. Oh, good kick to the midsection of Nakamura. Oh, Nakamura missed. Oh, and a huge oh. knee. That ripcord knee right to the head of Nakamura. Oh, Nakamura's not in a good spot. Nakamura's not in a good spot. Oh, no. Curb stop. That's it. It's all over. Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins has done it. He overcame all the odds. From number two. From number two, Seth Rollins has defeated 29 other men. And he has become the 2019 MDT Royal Rumble winner. What have we just witnessed? So many questions, but so many answers. Seth Rollins is headed to my damn nation for a championship match of his choice. Who will it be? 
That's the first time I've ever seen a smile on the face of Seth Rollins in this company's history. He is on the turnbuckle, Brad. My damn nation. There it is. My damn nation is on its way. And the road has officially begun here tonight. As Seth Rollins came, stopped, and burned it down at the MDT Royal Rumble. We will see you at Vindication, episode 13.